Hey sweets, let's make graduation cupcake toppers. We are proud of all of the graduates. We wish you all the best. May you continue to prosper and reach for all your dreams and goals. Listed next is everything that you'll need for this simple tutorial. We're gonna start with our scroll mode, some yellow fondant. Down in the description box, I will try to link the scroll mode. I got it off of Amazon. It was pretty cost effective. And you see me, I'm just using regular Wilton's fondant. It was quicker than trying to color and make it um, myself. What I'm doing here is I'm incorporating the color back in. A lot of times when you buy fondant, it'll be a little discolored. You can't really see it on this video, but I can see like lighter spots. Some spots look lighter, some spots look darker. Of course, we are going to paint this to make it look more authentic, older. I have my gold, my edible gold next to me, but I, I just want to start with an even base. I know it's going to create a better product for the client. And yeah. So a lot of times when you get brand new fondant, you know, fondant is marshmallow and powdered sugar. It's very sticky. I had to ask my son to bring me cornstarch. Um, also, I use a small amount of Tylos, which is also by Wilton's. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it as well. But I just picked this up at Joann's, which is a craft store where we are. A lot of times, I want to say it is on, it's on Amazon, but it may be by someone other than Wilton's. And I, when I started out six, seven years ago, this is what I started using. And I like it because I kind of know it. All I'm doing here is kneading the Tylos powder into the fondant. And for those of you that are new to fondant, it just kind of makes your fondant a little bit harder. I am now dusting my mold with cornstarch. You'll see people with the little round dusters. I am old school. I want to take my fingers, get it down in the crevices, especially with this mold. It is real easy to get your fondant stuck in the mold and tear it and all those things. And I just did not feel like sitting and waiting and putting the mold in the refrigerator and all of those things that we do to make our form set up. I didn't want to do that this evening. I just wanted to go ahead and get these done so they can sit up and I can go ahead and paint them. You know, this whole process takes some time. I think the smaller the um, crevices are, the more you got to work it in. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing the outline of the mold. I'm pushing it down in with one finger going back behind it with the other finger. And I turned it to make sure I could see exactly what crevices I was moving into and trying to make sure that it fit. And it was also firm because you do want them to lay fat so flat. You don't want them bumpy on the back side. So you kind of got to take your time and work it in kind of smooth it over some and here I got my roller and just made sure everything was smooth and flat I for one of the first times ever I didn't have much to do I didn't have any that I wanted to tear off or cut off it was pretty much even all the way over you see me peeling it out directly and that's what it looks like before I painted it why did I use gold and not white? Because I really wanted it to look like a Ferrell's gold color. Um, I also picked up this small number mode. It did not come off of Amazon, but I may be able to find it on Amazon. I got it from someone else a few years back and remembered that I had it. So here I am mixing my edible paint. I actually use Everclear for mine because I know it. it just dry so much faster than lemon juice. And I know um, a lot of people are real religious, let's say that. Um, Everclear actually, once it dries, you cannot taste it at all. But, you know, do what feels safe for you and your practices. So if you want to use lemon juice, yes, but I cannot tell you the consistency. But right here, I noticed my consistency was fairly runny. Um, the purple clear shot glass is actually powdered sugar. It does look like cornstarch, but it's not. 
So I'm showing you guys the powdered sugar. I'm just tapping a little bit in there to thicken it up. And all I'm going to do is mix it in real well. You can see I really didn't even put any in there, just enough. Just a dab of do you because it wasn't a lot of gold and it really didn't need a lot. It just was a little bit runny for my my taste, you know, for what I'm looking for. I didn't want to have to do three, four, five coats. Um, two would have been okay, but I wanted to get it a little bit thick so that it would be down in the crevices and the cracks on these scrolls because that is a major detail for me. So, you know, when you're doing this, you, I'm not a good painter. I like when my children paint our work because that's just what they do. I'm not, I'm artistic in different ways. <laughs> Let's say that, but my children are very, very great with the fondant. So every now and again, I do get behind them and let them do things and show me how to do it. And we critique things, but you see me just painting, painting, painting. I'm trying to make it even, you know, my thought process behind this was if I was painting my fingernails, I would want it to look even and consistent. So that's what I was going with, because of course, I'm going to put the black numbers that you see. I've already used um, the mode to do the numbers off camera. Sorry, you guys, I, I thought I was actually recording. I wasn't. So I'm just turning the scroll and I am painting the sides. You know, of course, you paint the top. But there's also going to be the sides, so don't forget the sides. And I'm just using the bottom of my brush to turn and make sure that my paint is all going one way, looks consistent, looks even. I mean, because you you want this to be a beautiful project, and it's really not hard. It really was really easy, really cool. As you guys see, this is not a long tutorial. It's less than ten minutes. I'm almost sure. But um, what I I realized. This graduation season that I didn't think before or never did, if you already have your numbers set up with your dextrose and they're a little bit firm, you can take your tweezers while your scroll is still wet, place them um, how you want them, and they'll adhere for you. You don't have to come back with the edible glue and all those things. So I actually cut a step out this year, which of course saves time, especially when you're doing Big graduation parties and you know that can kind of get tedious but you see me putting the numbers on I'm making sure they're all lined up how I want them before I go ahead and start to press them down putting a little bit of space between them and what the adhere I don't want them to adhere until I have them in the right order and turn correctly so I'm checking that as well so when you see me put down the tweezers, I'm actually using that to make sure I'm pressing them all at the same time and adding the same amount of pressure. Thanks for watching.